base 50 mm diameter and height 65 mm rest a cone of base 50 mm 55 mm diameter 50 mm diameter and height 65 mm diameter okay it is resting on one of its base on hp it is resting on one of its base on hp okay then to vp come on a section plane perpendicular to vp very good inclined at 30 degree to hp very good this is the 30 degrees to hp see this is the 30 degrees to hp okay and perpendicular to vp the section plane is 30 degrees to hp and perpendicular to vp it is bisecting the axis, axis. bisecting means half of the cone okay height of the cone is 65 in between 32.5 at 32.5 height it is sectioning it is bisecting the cone with the angle of 30 degrees okay right then draw the development of the lateral surface of the truncated cone so you need to develop the lateral surface of the truncated cone so now it is truncated cone this is the development of the cone truncated development of the cone after truncated okay this is the development so in the problem is asking you draw the development of the truncated cone so now first one is you need to draw your top view and front view as usual right so top view of the cone is circle with apex with apex so now this is the apex o and the front view of the cone is this one this is the height of the cone and this is the cone. front view of the cone now what is the height of the cone how much? 65. 65. The height of the cone is 65. Now, the section plane is bisecting the axis. Bisecting the axis of the cone. Bisect means exactly half. So, this is the half. You can take this is the half. And this one is, how much it is? 32.5. Now, at this, at this position, now the section plane is so making an angle of 30 degrees. So 30 degrees. This is the 30. Okay, Nana. What is the angle? This is 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Now you need to develop this code. So section is already. You know that this is the sectioning. This is the sectioning. X. X. This is the sectioning. And this is the one generator. Okay, now this is one generator, two generators. Okay, if you want this generator also, you can take this as a generator. This is a one more generator. Okay, sectioning one, M1, and this is a two, three, and for here one more generator is there. What is four? This is a four. Right? So this is the A. B, C, D, this is A dash and this is C dash and this one is B dash of D dash and this one is O dash. Now you need to develop this truncated core. So what is the procedure to draw a core? Radial line method. What is the, what is the method? Radial line method. Then already I told you one of its generate, one of its slant rate should be parallel to xy. Whether it is parallel to xy? Yes. So now take, take O dash, C dash as radius. Take O dash and C dash as radius. Draw a R. This is the curve. This is the curve. Okay, Nana? Now, I am joining this is a O and I am joining one end. This I am naming as a. Okay, so I need to I need to try a. I need to try development of the course. I need to find out the angle. So what is the angle? What is the formula for angle? Find out theta equal to small r by capital R into 
360. Now you need to find out. So small r is, this is the small r. This is the capital R. This one is capital R. Now tell me what is the angle? 129.2 degrees. So what is the small r? How much small r? 2.5. Small r. How much small r is it? Small r equal to? 25. And capital R? 69.6. You need to measure this. Capital R means you need to measure this land height. That is 69.6. Now, the, by using this formula, you can find out the theta angle, 129.2 degrees. Okay, then you need to use the protractor. So, with the help of protractor, you can 129. This is the exact perpendicular. So, now, this is A. This is A. And divide this curve into four equal parts. The total angle is 129. 129. Now divide 129.2. Divide this angle into this card into four parts. Okay. So now one, four. This is the four parts. One, two, sorry, four, nine. One, two, three, four. Sorry. One, two, three. So now how many parts? One, one, two. Three, four parts. This is the four parts. Okay, Andy? So, what is the angle including each? What is the angle in between this? 129 by divided by 4. Okay? That you need to divide into four parts. Why four? Because you have divided into four parts. For example, if you are divided into eight parts, you need to mention eight. If you divide it by uh, 16 parts, you need to divide by 16. Okay, Andy? That is that. that. That is the reason why I mentioned here 4. Okay. Now, as usual, take the radius of. Please reason. Take the radius of. Take radius of. Very, very important. Radius of O dash to 1. O dash to 1. O dash to 1. This is the radius. And O dash to 1, you need to mention here, this is 1. Okay, Andy? This is 1. Same way, one more A is there. That's why it is also 1. Clear? Take the radius of O dash to 1. Okay, Andy? That radius, I am mentioning here. Because it is A. It is on O dash A. 1 is on O dash and A dash. So, that's why on O A, on OA, I mentioned 1. Next, second point. Where is the second point? It is on O dash and B. B is visible, B is invisible. That's why 2 is visible, 4 is invisible. So, O dash to B dash. 2 is there, in between 2. So, that's why I will take the radius. So, O dash to B, C, D. So now B. This is okay. Next three. Where is three? Take the O dash and three as radius. Where is three located? In between O dash to C dash. So now I am making this. Is. Where is four? O dash and D dash. Who is good? D dash. What is this? Okay. Because, because it is a cone. Because it is a cone. Pyramid is different and cone is different. Cone and cylinders are curved surface. But pyramid and prisms are straight edges. Okay. That's why here you are going to get curved surface. Curve surface you are going to get here. Okay, Andy? This is the development of the development of the truncated core. This is the development of the truncated core. Only this area it should be expensive. This area should be too expensive. Okay? This is the fifth problem.